With us now is Lucas, who we met exactly one year ago, probably today, at last year's film festival. Always wanted to talk to each other, but now we finally got the opportunity. You are here celebrating something special tonight, and what is that? Well, so basically I'm here as a presenter to honor um, incredible filmmaking. I'm presenting the award for best story, best short, best director, and best feature, and then a special surprise award that, because it's a surprise, I can't yes. talk about it here, but somebody's gonna get a lovely surprise tonight. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's exciting. I like surprises. Right? Isn't it incredible? Do you ever have a surprise birthday party? You know, I have not. I've had surprise party for a show that I got on. Right. Somebody wanted to celebrate that I got on that show, and so threw me a surprise party. But surprises for me, I kind of like to be warned. You do? Yeah, I love you that. You like to be prepared? I like to be prepared. Okay. I'm Any actor or writer? Or so um, exactly. now you also um, got a an award, I guess, believe, for something to do with your writing. Correct. Yeah, I won the Screencraft Fellowship for uh, one of my scripts. I'm a screenwriter as well. I've been writing for a good 12, 15 years. And uh, so I won the Cinestore Fellowship, the Screencraft Fellowship, and that's been really helpful in trying to get my, my scripts up there. And I'm directing my first feature this year of my own writing uh, later on. Tell us about awesome that. Uh, I had a film here last year called Guest of Honor with uh, a wonderful uh, woman I uh, wrote it with called Lisa Belcher. And this is our next project together. She's producing, uh, we're co-directing as it turns out, which let's hold this space and see how that goes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like tangoing, I think it's like a <laughs> dance, right? Yeah, uh, one person right. leaves, the other follows, and then you reverse it or something? Exactly. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, exactly, and then you dip. Uh, but um, of all people, I think we work really well together. So we're excited to create this feature together that I wrote um, called House of Abraham, a sort of dark horror thriller. Yeah. Um, Blacklist, uh, tell us about your experience with that and why you still like love that character so much. Well, so yeah, I played uh, Elias Van Dyke on, on The Blacklist and, uh, and I get to kill a very prominent character on that show. Spoiler alert, uh, I won't say the name, but um, it's already out there. So, okay, okay. Um, But, you know, it's just incredible to get to work on a show like The Blacklist. It's a well-oiled, super professional machine and you work with incredibly talented people. I just uh, worked with um, uh, 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 Fisher Stevens from last season. Super crazy, talented gentleman and, and, a, and a real good sport to work with. And it's just, you know, you don't sort of maybe collaborate as much as, you, as I might like. I love independence filmmaking for that reason. You can sit down with the writer, director and figure out what the trajectory of your character is. And on TV, you can't do that, right? You sort of hit your marks and know your lines and come in with what your character is, which is, you know, so it's great for exposure. It's of course, it's, it's a good income when you get it, but it's uh, at the end of the day, you know, my heart gets thrilled by independent filmmaking, which is what Long Island Film Expo really sort of lauds. Okay. It's about building community. You know, you can't create these films without community, without colleagues, and meeting people at festivals like this is key. How did you network before you got into this industry? What industry were you in? Were you like on a construction site? Like, what did you do? Because not everybody just like walks out and says, <laughs> okay, I get to be in this business, right? So what were you right. prior? That's right. No, well, I was actually always an actor. I, am, I graduated from Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. So I started out in theater. So I'm a theater actor sort of at, at heart and worked in Ireland and then came to New York in 96. Really? And then, yeah, and then so came. That's what you, that's always been your gig? That's always been my game. It's um, the luck of the Irish then, <laughs> wouldn't you say, right? Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> right. But then at the end of the day, you still have to make things happen, right? So. After a while, I realized uh, for me to get some of the roles that I really wanted, I, I wanted to be proactive. And that was one of the reasons why I wrote my first short film back in 2014. Produced it, wrote, directed, acted in it, and it did really well. And I can actually sort of red thread a lot of the reasons why I'm here today with a much sort of, not a huge career, but a lot more successful career than back then from that short. Because that led to a lot of different things. So to those of you who feel like you still need to sort of break in, make your own stuff. What I did, I, I think. Wait, see, wait, wait. the Donna Drake show. Yeah, ah, I just see, made my own show, and it kind of worked for me. So if it worked for me, it could work for you. Um, <laughs> you are so lovely. Have fun Likewise. tonight. Yeah, are you looking you. forward to any, you know, meeting anyone that you haven't met before in particular? I, I you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just hoping Meryl Streep. I hear rumors she might be here tonight. Uh, but I would Not this year, <laughs> but I will tell you, I have met some really big stars along the way through 25 years because I've actually been here since day one. So there have been so many people just like yourself that lend your craft, your talent, your spirit here. And so thank you for being here. No, listen, thank you so much for doing the work you do. And I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Go life.